Good morning. Welcome to Santiago de Compostela Parish. Let's take a moment and greet the people around us worshiping with us, and let's also welcome the people who are worshiping with us via live stream. This morning we celebrate the memorial of St. Angela Marishi. We also are celebrating Thursday of the third week in ordinary time. And let us come together joyfully singing our gathering hymn, which is number 506, Christ be our light. Long ye life we wait in darkness longing for truth we turn to you make us your own your holy people light for the world to call you Christ be our light shining Shine through the dark. Christ be our light. Shine in your church. Gather today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we gather this morning. And we ask the Lord to open our hearts that his seed may find a resting place and his light may shine forth. Let us call to mind our sins and repent for blocking that light. You are the light of the world. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie You are a great priest over the house of God. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. You show us the face of God. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the Virgin Saint Angela never fail to commend us to your compassion. O Lord, we pray that following the lessons of her charity and prudence, we may hold fast to your teaching and express it in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. After Nathan had spoken to King David, the king went in and sat before the Lord and said, <clears throat> Who am I, Lord God, and who are the members of my house that you have brought me to this point? Yet even this you have seen as too little, Lord God. You have also spoken of the house of your servant for a long time to come. This too you have shown to man, Lord God. You have established for yourself your people Israel as, your for, as yours forever. And you, Lord, have become their card. And now, Lord God, confirm for all time the prophecy you have made concerning your servant and his house. And do as you have promised. Your name will be forever great when men say, the Lord of hosts is God of Israel, and the house of your servant David stands firm before you. It is you, Lord of hosts, God of Israel, 
who said in a revelation to your servant, I will build a house for you. Therefore, your servant now finds the courage to make this prayer to you. And now, Lord God, you are God and your words are truth. You have made this generous promise to your servant. Do then bless the house of your servant that it may be before you forever. For you, Lord God, have promised, and by your blessing the house of your servant shall be blessed forever. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. <clears throat> Lord, remember David and all his anxious care, how he swore an oath to the Lord, vowed to the mighty one of Jacob. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. I will not enter the house where I live, nor lie on the couch where I sleep. I will give my eyes no sleep, my eyelids no rest, till I find a home for the Lord, a dwelling for the mighty one of Jacob. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. <clears throat> the Lord swore an oath to David, a firm promise, from which he will not withdraw. Your own offspring I will set upon your throne. The Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. If your sons keep my covenant and the decrees which I shall teach them, their sons too forever shall sit upon your throne. The Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He prefers her for his dwelling. Zion is my resting place forever. In her I will dwell, for I prefer her. The Lord God will give him the throne of David for his father. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> Alleluia. Alleluia. A lamp to my feet is your word, a light to my path. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Is a lamp brought in and placed under a bushel basket or under a bed and not to be placed on a lamp stand? For there is nothing hidden except to be made visible. Nothing is secret except to come to light. Anyone who has ears to hear ought to hear. He also said to them, take care what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you, and still more will be given to you. The one who has, more will be given. From the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Yesterday we heard the Gospel of the sower and the seed. Today, we are reminded that that seed which the Lord so willingly plants in our hearts and can bear such an enormous yield must then be shared with others, and that is the image of the light. We cannot receive the word 
hold it in our hearts without letting it be a light in the world around us. If we do, that is, <coughs> excuse me, if we hoard the word in our hearts, <coughs> it will not only not give light to others. <coughs> don't worry, I don't have COVID. I just have a tickle. <laughs> if we hoard the light, we not only will not be visible to others, it will cease to be light for ourselves. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate a very courageous soul, St. Angela Marici. She was the founder of the, the foundress of the first order of teaching sisters. You might say, oh, that's lovely. Well, it wasn't lovely for her because nobody in Rome was ready to have an order of teaching sisters because they said sisters have never been in the world teaching. They've always been in the cloister, and that's where they should stay. Well, that's really silly. <coughs> and it's not just to be defiant or revolutionary. It's that the world had long been in darkness because Christians hadn't been doing their lexio and hadn't been letting the light shine. And so God said, okay, we're going to let the feminine genius shine forth in the formation of youth who will receive the word and let the light shine. So let us thank God for brave and courageous souls, not proud souls and defiant souls because those also exist and they call themselves Christians, but souls that are willing to let the Holy Spirit have his way in their life who cherish the word of God with devoted hearts and allow its light to shine in their actions, in their words, in their deeds, in their prayers, and so give light in darkness. Let us pray to God, the Father of light, that we may be faithful to our vocation to become light of the world. Our response, Father of goodness, shine on us. Father of goodness, shine on us. <clears throat> that the church, the people of God, may become a great light shining in the darkness of this world. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, shine on us that the leaders of the world may bring rays of hope in the lives of those who suffer. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, shine on us. That Christians may be, the, be like light on a mountaintop, guiding people in their journey to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, shine on us. That the sick, the old, and the neglected <clears throat> may continue to hope because of the light shown by those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, shine on us. That eternal light may shine on our departed loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, shine on us. Let us pray for Buena Pineda Ian Alonso and Christian de Leon, for whom we offer this Holy Mass. Also, in thanksgiving, for Becky Lagrata and Taylor Vuong. For the sick, for their healing, especially Jan Tenant, Maureen Thomas, Marie Thomas, Marcia Thomas, Roger Inzen Sr., and Ricardo Bena. And for the repose of the soul, of Ismael Valenzuela. We pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, shine on us. God our Father, give us new awareness and strength to be committed to the service of our brothers and sisters so that we may let your light shine toward all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, your fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. <clears throat> As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Angela Marici, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabbat, Venis Uncheli et Deo, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, Cui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. <coughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The 
mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. <clears throat> On you stay. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be.
Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Come out to meet Christ the Lord. Our act of spiritual communion for those who are following via live stream. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. <coughs> Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of Blessed Angela Marici, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Let us sing together number 406. Shelter me, O God. Shelter me, O God. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. You alone are my home. When my foes around me, to me. 